Over the past few years, we have seen wizards take some of our commander tribes and pluck them from obscurity, giving them either the support they needed in the 99 or a fantastic legendary at the helm. That is a lot to digest what Joel just said. So today we're going to talk about the best tribes in MTG that just need a little bit more help before they are going to be viable in commander. And the video starts right now. Highest level of gratitude to our patrons who power the channel through Patreon. Check out the Patreon link in the description to learn about monthly giveaways, VIP Discord access, and even our official playmat. Hello and welcome to the day. Thank you for spending your time with us. I'm Jake. I'm Joel. Welcome back to another episode of Jake and Joel are Magic, man. It seems like we have been talking about werewolves and vampires and zombies all year man but we are That's not talking right. about those giant tribes with a ton of support multiple options for their legendary commander helm of the deck now we're going to talk about some of our favorites that we need some support but first we need your support if you like the video by the end of it hit that like button if you don't like it hit that dislike button who is ready to talk about turtles and homunculus let's take a look at some turtles so like Jake said, we are going to start here with our turtle friends. We've got 25 Jake legal cards in commander that say turtle in the type line. And we've got at least one decent legendary creature option. We have to look at this from two different angles when we're analyzing tribes in EDH. Do they have a good tribally synergistic commander card? And do they have support in the 99? Yeah, that's a good place to start. I mean, I'm sure that right now you're looking at like Aegis Turtle and you're looking at Armored World Turtle and very quickly you're realizing, okay, these are not cards that are generally going to pop up into a competitive commander deck. So from right there, you're going to see that turtles already need some support. And these are not the kind of turtles that are going to live in a terrarium. Let me tell you that. A lot okay. of these turtles are big <laughs> enough that they can smash boats. Yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah. So we ran into this with the werewolf tribe when we're trying to build a werewolf deck, right? We looked, there's not even a good commander for it until they did print one, but we still don't really have a full good support system for the 99 of a tribal deck without leaning too much into non actual tribal partners like shapeshifters. So that's not really what we want to look at. We want to see what the support is. And Jake, oh, there's a non-legal card. So Shelephant doesn't even count towards the actual uh, 25 cards. We want to see if the tribe has that legendary and if it's got the support in the 99. You can see if it's got 30, 40, 50 or fewer cards for just its base level support, a lot of times you're going to be looking at cards like Aegis Turtle, Armored World Turtle, just to hit the number that you need for a tribal deck. Yeah, and again, these three costs or two cost one ones or one fours, they just are not going to cut it. So unless you're in a very casual pod that's like, hey, did you bring your level one deck? Then you probably don't want to be playing Turtles right now in EDH. It does need to be reined in a little bit. Again, turtles are super fun, but you can even see with like Yadaro here, it's not even in the right colors right now. So we just need essentially like a mountain of turtles, a set that has maybe like a turtle theme that's one of the main creature types or something like that would put us in a good place. But until then, turtle remains on the... Um, do not disturb list yeah i think that i don't really understand what that means but i also think <laughs> i also think that for a lot of these tribes what it will take is a dedicated pre-constructed deck with this tribe as the figurehead jake let's jump into our next tribe that we think needs more support in commander and we're going to go with mirror so we've got 38 cards where the type includes mirror and then we've got something like five to ten more cards on top of that of cards that make one one mirrors because these are you know sort of a little tokeny strategy to these mirrors a lot of times you'll create a one one mirror uh if you if you fulfill something else like mirror battle sphere if enters the battlefield you can create four one one colorless mirror artifact creature tokens and that's pretty much what we've got jake is mirror battle sphere if we want to have a commander deck with something that is decently you know lore wise the commander of a mirror deck and this isn't even a legendary you'd have to rule zero this yeah. with your play group for that to be a commander you have to rule zero i want mirror battlesphere and i need it to be five colors 
because it I need to be able to run things like Copper Mirror in this deck just to make my number. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So like this tribe, again, it does need support. It needs no introduction. I'm sure that everybody here does love the design of these creatures and would I love like to mirror. see them get more support because they do look really cool. I like the Mirror Enforcer. I like all of them. They look kind of just like little armored, uh, almost like, parasites in a way but like yeah. cute parasites you know they look right. like little armored like ants in a way um yeah it's a it's a really cool tribe and again you know we've had some of these cards that you know they're like all stars and like limited like perilous mirror and stuff like right. that or like plague mirror that's going to be like a mana dork for you but again you're not going to want something that's like infect in your deck when most of your deck isn't infect so again this is one of those tribes that looks really cool it has like the aesthetic for a set if we go back to a mirrodin then we're right. probably going to get more mirror and will we get a legendary one that's the big thing that we're missing here we need that legend yeah that's what we need to look for there jake the next tribe that i want to look at is a little bit under the radar and i don't think that anybody was thinking about it coming into this video because we've only got 16 cards where the type is relevant for this and that's aetherborn i love the design of this tribe but we only got it on one plane for two sets yeah kaladesh and aether revolt and again yeah these do look very cool uh you're kind of pigeonholed into black here you know it's uh, there's a couple yeah, that you've that got yeheni and you've got ganti that's it both yeah but black. then you have like a couple that are demir right Right. Are, contraband, oh, yeah, like kingpin. contraband kingpin and this is so, exactly the the strategy here it's an artifact servo you know artifact creature token sort of build and strategy and so yeah i mean I'm, honestly i would take a blue black aetherborn legend that would be awesome yeah that would be great um demir historically in commander that's a really fun color combo you know you can have a lot of fun with blue black and again a lot of these choices are based on aesthetic you know like what looks cool what would wizards of the coast be like hey what is something that we want to develop more what do we want to uh what do we want to give commander support to yes. you know i mean look at this tell me how cool this art looks on this rare that's just decent put a plus one plus one counter on it gains indestructible if you sack an artifact in the right deck that is going to be a dope that becomes two very for strong you. yeah right becomes very strong I'd say and if you want to take it all the way out, Esper would be a really good color combo for a three-color Aetherborn Legend if you want to really try and shoot for the moon with, with our ask here for an Aetherborn Tribal Commander deck. But, you know, it's just, again, like you said, I love that what you said about it comes down to aesthetic. I want to play this tribe because it looks cool, you know? Please help me play it, wizards. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, like we have Gonti, we have Gifted Aetherborn, we have Yeheni. There are a lot of very strong cards in here. You know, oh, Gifted yeah. Aetherborn, it gets further away in EDH, but Gonti, Yeheni, I mean, there are some very, very, very strong cards in here. We just need more of them. Yeah, this is an example of a tribe where we need a good legend and we need more support of cards. You know, we've got even this one, like this could maybe be rule zero as your commander, but you're going to need to run a lot of changelings as it is. But Aetherborn's a cool one, Jake. I think that Plant has got a lot of support, but we just don't have a commander for it. And I'm sure that some people are going to be like, but plants can't have a leader. Well, well we've got some fun plants, but do we have the legendary plant? No, that's what we need. Yeah. That's, That's really it, what man. it comes down to. I mean, I would think that, you know, blue, black, green would be a really fantastic three color commander for a plant deck. But I can just imagine some like legendary tree, you know, legendary tree plant, some kind of legendary plant thing. I just got that sounds so cool to me to be able to run. We've got 55 cards where the type includes plant. I think we've got another like 10 to 15 cards on top of that legal and commander that make plant tokens so you could even go as like a token deck with this which obviously works well in green but this one is really cool it's got a varied history it's got a decent amount of support just from picking up like you know one creature per set as it comes along but yeah this i think would be a dope commander deck if we just had a legend for it right you know tree folk comes close right like yeah. if you if you really do want to play you know giant kind of like plant creatures then tree folks a good spot to go 
but more and more over the years we see more and more plants and now at this point whether they wanted to or not they have formed a tribe <laughs> it's a tribe that's an amalgam of stuff like you know tree of redemption and stuff that's really good and constructed like wall of blossoms and stuff like this but um yeah the more you have you you get people that are just like i would really love to see i don't know a giant plant commander it'd be kind of out of left field <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Avenger of Zendikar is one of the most played commander cards, oh, most yeah. printed into pre-con commander cards that there is, and that one just creates a ton of 0-1 plant tokens. I'd love for a, another deck to come along that that card could shine in. Jake? And another thing, I'm... really quick before we move on from that, but yeah. a lot of the plants that are really good come in and they can trip, or they have an ability that allows them to be sacrificed and then they can trip. I think in EDH, cards like those like they do have legs, especially with plants yeah. having a big toughness because they're going to do a lot of blocking and stuff like that. And then 100%. you don't need them, sacrifice and if them it to was draw a, cards. You know, it doesn't need to be just like some big stompy tree that comes to life and goes and attacks. I really sure. love a card like uh, Vigian Hydropon, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Can't attack or block, but it's got Graft 5. So it comes at being a leader for the deck, if this was a legendary card here. It comes at being a leader for the deck from a different angle and supports the tribe in a way that is still synergistic. You know, zero ones one's coming into play getting these tokens. That could really work, especially if it was some bigger, not common effect. You know, if it was a big mythic rare effect, I think it could be cool. But yeah, What plants if it was just like whenever a plant you control dies... Each opponent yeah. mills cards equal to the toughness. Then yeah, it's not like, like you're that. just running giant toughness that outside right. of plants, but it's just like now you have a mill strategy that's kind of like built around like, oh, well, when I sacrifice this plant to draw cards, I'm also going to mill everybody for six or whatever. Yeah. You know, that's kind of cool. No, yeah, I love that. I love that take. Jake, the next one already clicked over to it, so I've hinted at what's next, but angel is on the list next and we came at this one look there's a lot of legendary angels tariel attracts one of the most played commanders in the history of the world you know rien for a multicolored genara if you're just going some sort of voltron deck obviously you've also got kalia jake and kalia we were putting this together we you know we were like wow the best angel commander isn't even an angel yeah right and so it'd be um, nice if we had some sort of five color, just because of the history of angels. We have angels in every color with every ability. I mean, there's 198 legal angels to choose from. And that is the amount of support that you want your tribe to have in Commander so that you can pick not only the good ones, but also some that are synergistic to what you're trying to do. And you're not just like, well, I need a 10th plant. Let's stick this one in there because it's the last rare that I haven't included and it's got a decent ability. You know, I want to be able to like synergize down specifically to a strategy. So a five color angel, something like the Ur Dragon, that'd be very cool. Sure. I mean, and Maelstrom Archangel is cool, right? Because you are casting a spell from your hand without paying its mana cost. So if you have the right mana base for this, you make sure that Maelstrom Archangel has, you know, like an anger effect in the yard. Then yeah. you can like get in, swing in, cast like big stuff, like splashy stuff like Omniscience. Like, for example, you could have in your hand and just cast that straight up. Right. But the thing about that is, is it's just not really angel tribal. So kind of like what you're saying is we have all these angels, but they aren't super focused. They're all doing different things. Like a well, is one, like over in charge of the planeswalkers. You right. Know, this one, like, this one isn't even legendary. I would actually take this. Oh yeah, if this exactly. Was, if, if this it was were a legendary. legal command. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. I know what you're talking about. I would yeah. take this decently because it would be casting these big beefy angel spells for free. I'll take that. That's, you yeah. know, that's at least a little along the lines of a synergistic, you know, like Tariel Reckoner of Souls is an angel, but all this creature does is put creature cards at random from an opponent's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. There's Just nothing a about that. Effect, yeah. Right. That's not inherently angelic or some sort of five color amalgam the of all the card, angel though. styles. Oh, yeah. It's sick art. Wayne Reynolds killed it on that one. Yeah, but you've got, beautiful. you know, a Trax of one of the most played of all time. I don't know that I would look at this and go, oh yeah, Atrax is going to be at the head of my angel tribal deck. This is going to be so fun because that's sure, not really what angels, I'm going for. And if angels were the type of strategy that was like heavy counters, then sure, make an Atrax a deck. You have four colors, sure. you know, I go, go crazy. But yeah, the best card, in my opinion, at the helm of an angel deck is Kalia. And again, it's not an angel. 
and you can't right you can't even run some of these that have you know green in them some of those that have blue in them you're you're pigeonholed into into mardu. Uh, mardu for that one so yeah i think that this one will probably be the most controversial on the list for some of you but i just do because think... there are so many angels right exactly this isn't like a 20 card tribe this is well supported i just personally would love an angel commander that was specifically about angels you know play an angel get an angel token that kind of thing jake let's go back to the under supported tribes and go to a fun one we know we have at least one patron that would have yelled at us in the comments if we did not include Fibble Thips tribe here, but Amonkalis would be a pretty cool tribe to support. That's right. We've got 21 cards here, and what that means is there are 21 eyeballs total on what we're looking at. <laughs> Get it? Uh -uh. Because Stitcher's Apprentice has got a, oh. got a secondary contraption here, Brit. Next time we're gonna have to freaking run that joke ahead of time because that is not <laughs> all right. Okay, so yeah, homunculus again, aesthetic play right here. Yeah. We do have a legendary homunculus, uh, yep. but we only have 21 cards, and again, a little bit of a variation of like what would be legal in these decks. You know, the legendary homunculus is blue only, and there right. is a build for this card. However, yeah, I think, you know, we get into like maybe a white blue territory or maybe a, b a bant territory and then we're going to be really able to run and see some stuff. We do see, you know, like uh, the one card here, uh, Zinder Split, that came out of Battle Bond, but it yeah. partners up with a very specific coin flip strategy that is not at all based around homunculus. No, yeah, exactly. It, we do have in this very underrepresented tribe a pretty decent legendary creature if you want to go build the coin flip partner deck. But yep. like Jake said, I think, Jake, that um, Esper is is where I would fall as far as a three color, and then I would go maybe blue-white. Um, Aramonculus is kind of an outlier for me because it's right. got a little bit of Simic stuff going on. But mostly for me, I'm seeing like artifact, artifact. strategy... A little bit sure. of like unblockable, you know, these guys are small, close to the ground, they skulk, they're unblockable. So some sort of sorcerer's apprentice style thing, you know, chief homunculus, that would be pretty cool. Something like that, that's in charge of all the different homunculus across all of the different uh, um, clans and or guilds, sorry, in, in uh, Ravnica. I think that would be cool too. Yeah, I think so as well. You know, you have Doorkeeper, which is a, a pretty iconic defender. Uh, the 04 that target player puts the top X cards of their library into yeah, their graveyard. Yeah, a bit of mill strategy. I see some mill strategy. So it, we could maybe see a, a commander build out here with mill. I'm down for commanders that have weird, different types of abilities that aren't yeah. just, you know, turn things sideways. I'm also down to get away from mill and come up with something else as well. Discard, whatever. But yeah, this is one of those tribes that I'm sure is in the back pocket of Wizards of the Coast. They're they're thinking like when and how is the best time to bring more support to these guys. But is it a question of does Homunculus need a, a commander? I, I do think it's a very fun looking creature. And yeah. so I would love to see more of them. So one that I would like to see more of is a creature type near and dear to my heart. And it's Kavu. I started playing during Invasion Block, and I remember this card specifically. I loved the art on this. It reminded me a little bit of Tremors, which was a you know funny sci-fi movie for me as a kid back in the day. Love that movie. A little scary, a little action-y, but I remember playing these creatures all through that block. You can see the Invasion ones, the Apocalypse ones. We got some really cool ones, some really classic MTG art that is like, Kavu Titan art. This was used as as box art and pack art. I uh, just I remember these so so fondly. It'd be great to get a legendary. It can be Gruel. They've only pretty much ever been Gruel. I think we've maybe had some derivation to a black one. Yeah. So that. But other than that, it's completely Gruel. I don't even want it to be three colors. I just want it to be a red green Kavu. You know, there's going to be some land sub theme. There's going to be some shooting fire out of their mouth sub theme, flamethrower sort of stuff. That's what I want to see. This would be my personal call. If you said, Joel, I'm going to make you a custom pre-con tribal deck. Choose any tribe. I'd say Kavu, please. Well, it is cool that they just brought us a Kavu in uh, Modern Horizons 2 as yeah. well. So it does show that Kavu is still uh, in the mind of the creators over there. 
Uh, but yeah, we do just need a legendary. We need something that's, you know, maybe I guess a little bit more sentient to take care of all these, uh, what are <laughs> essentially beasts, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, some... I th we have Kavu Titan, so they can't use that name. Do we have, oh, yep, we've got Alpha Kavu. That was my next idea, but I must sure. have been pulling that one out of the recesses in my mind. So Something yeah, like we Kavu need... Kavu Mastermind. Kavu, yeah. you know, Kavu... Kavu Superior. Yes, yeah, something like that. That's going to be able to. <laughs> oh, we even have Kavu Monarch. Oh, my goodness. All Kavu have trample whenever Kavu comes into play. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Perfect. Add a color. Make this legendary. This can be the commander. Yep. And then you're going to see a big uptick in all the hardened scales and uh, yeah. doubling I love season that. type effects. Yeah. You know, I, I really do like this tribe. And, you know, I didn't start playing until many years after Joel, but... I do remember as a kid picking up these cards in around like, God, it would have been like 90, 96, 97. And I didn't know how to play the game. That was back when the game came with a tiny instruction booklet the size of a card that was like 60 pages long and you had to read all of it. And if you didn't have a friend to show you how to play the game, then you were kind of out of luck. But I will say that I remember these cards and I remember these old borders and I, I, I have a very similar love for Kavu that just comes from, I, they're just a really cool looking creature type. Yeah, absolutely. After that, we've got another old creature type, Jake, and that is Atog. I was shocked to see that there are only 12 Atogs across the history of MTG. And one of my favorite ever is Chronotog right up there in the top right. Yep. And I love that card art so much and that card it's like who cares it it, it sucks but that art is just beautiful i love yeah. it yeah yeah it really does and it shows you i mean this is the opposite sort of looking at it from the opposite direction right we've got a great legend that is super synergistic with it as a tribe like you know having these creature types on the battlefield especially if you can create some tokens now you're really talking and it covers all five colors so you can play any that's ever printed we're in the right arena for this we just only have 11 other cards to choose from. And one of them is skip your next turn to give it plus three, plus three. And you can only do this once. <laughs> no. That's not exactly what we're looking for, yeah. for like tribal most support. Of these sadly, don't even make it into the deck. Yeah, no, probably not. That's what you look like in the morning though, right? When you come out of your, when you come out of your cocoon. Yeah. And then Annie looks at me just like that lithotog does. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing over there? And you're like, I'm, I'm back like, alive. I'm like, I'm in my tree here. I'm just trying to enjoy my tree time. I didn't get taken in my sleep for another night. I'm alive still. All right. I know. I know. I know. I know. We skipped your favorite tribe that doesn't have enough support and commander. Please let me know down in the comments below. But yell at Jake specifically. Don't yell at me. Yell at Jake. I can take it. Yeah, strong, strong boy over there. Hit like, hit subscribe, the YouTube stuff. Other than that, tapped out. Until next time, we will see you on the flippity. And hey, I just realized I needed to turn my brightness up a little bit on this one. There you go. Now you look good. We made video it over. right at the end of the video. <laughs> Not bad. Professional.